please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Michael, and I'm founder of the Life Education Platform, Life Edu. Okay, what is your vision with your ICO, with your startup? Actually, that's a good question. So, what we are, our vision is to build a YouTube for online education and professional development. So, we are building like a, um, the biggest platform in the world for project learning. The idea that we have is like uh, in three or five years, we will be the place on the web for projects. So if anybody wants to kind of like improve his skills um, in topics like future technology topics like artificial intelligence, cyber security, or cryptocurrencies, you'll be like the default place they'll think of, right? So uh, since, like, like YouTube has done for videos, we want to do it for project land, right? So if you want to kind of like expand your skills in artificial intelligence, cyber security, we want to be like the default place that you'll think of. Right. How will you utilize the blockchain technology? So the way we utilize blockchain is actually similar to how Stimit utilizes blockchain. Um, so Stimit is a classic marketplace where you have a demand side and a supply side. And you need to solve the chicken and egg problem, right? You need to create a lot of content, a lot of projects. And we have similar chicken and egg problem. So on the supply side, what we do is like we give our tokens, we create ERC20 tokens, and we give it to people creating projects as a financial incentive. Right at a very low price point, and when they sell these tokens, right, they make money from it at a later point. With the idea that if they create very good projects and we sell those projects, right, the value of the token will rise, right. And on the demand side, uh, the people watching the projects, um, we use the tokens mainly for payments. We use the token for rewards and incentives, right. So we have site moderators, we have API developers. So we give away our tokens for people to develop applications on top of our platform. Interesting, right? and. Uh, on which parts are you better than your competitors or the existing companies? That's good. So in terms of direct competitor, we don't have one. But there are some companies in the space doing something similar that touch you know, certain areas of what we plan to do. Um, so you can compare us to YouTube, you can compare us to Linda. So we are like a hybrid of Linda and YouTube, right? And um, YouTube is focused on a lot of topics, they are not really focused on education. And what we are trying to build is like a big new. You see the party. Yeah, see <laughs> a big new huge category, right? So what we are doing is like Twitch took gaming out of YouTube and build it into a huge business, right? Um, we also have Y Combinator company with the same similar history, and we are taking online education out of YouTube. We want to build it into a huge category of its own, right? And our projects are structured, right, and complete. On YouTube, the content you have there is not structured. You get like certain sections of it and that's it right because like the project creators on our site are paid just like people are paid on stim it they have incentives to create quality content right because they spend more time in creating this project and this content and compared to linda is one we are not focused on beginner content we are focused on intermediate to expert right that's, that's our sweet spot um, this is the white space that we are covering right so we don't focus on people who have no skills at all in that area. I focus on people who are like college students or professionals and just want to upgrade. So our platform is a place for upgrading your skills by using like real projects. We don't teach you like new stuff. We are not like a platform for teaching you new stuff, right? Awesome. And third, uh, before, because we are using a peer-to-peer -peer platform, our production cost is like zero, right? So we're not like Linda, we don't have anything, we don't pay anything up front. Our production cost so is You are zero. more like YouTube. Yeah, we are more like YouTube. We have a peer-to-peer -peer platform. So it's like people create projects, we just coordinate the people to kind of like watch those projects. So we're like a classic marketplace. And third, we have the flexibility to create projects on any topic that we choose. So if we decide to choose a topic today, we can start creating projects tomorrow. Linda doesn't have that flexibility. They need that like a whole process. They need to hire teachers. They need to kind of like get people like into their studios. We don't have any studios. We don't have any physical costs, right? So we, we, are, we create projects at a very significantly lower cost. We are focused on topics also that Linda doesn't even think of covering, like cyber security, right? Like uh, artificial intelligence. So like new topics that existing online education companies don't cover at all, right? And also new topics that no dominant online education company exists. That's the space we want to cover. So we want to be like online education company of the future, not like of the, of the current like um, stage the world is in. We want to be like of the future, right? So we want to be like the place on the web if the topics like artificial intelligence are established, awesome. cyber security are established, cryptocurrency are established. We want to be the place you come to to learn it in that world, like, you know, if it's established. Can you tell me about something about your team and advisory board? 
Right, so our team, we are a team of like three people, uh, the core team members, and then we are overall like 10. Uh, we are an established team, we went through Y Combinator. Um, we have experience in the video streaming space, we have experience in online education space, um, we have worked on a lot of stuff that didn't work, that we pivoted it from, and we have worked on a lot of stuff that worked. So our team is really now experienced and we know like where we should focus and where we should not. <laughs> right? So we wasted a lot of time testing things out. So um, in terms of our team, in terms of our advisory board, we have like people who are experienced in the blockchain industry, who were uh, advisors in other uh, ICOs from Korea. And also we have one of the founders of an, of an ICO from Japan who is kind of like advising us. So we have a team of people who are like founders and a team of people who are like blockchain experts as advisors. And Michael Teppin will be joining us as advisor as well uh, in our team. So um, we hope to use this contact to kind of like build our I ICO. Uh, what is your phase with your ICO? Yeah, we closed our pre-sale already. Um, I mean, some investors can still invest, but we raised one million already. And we are targeting 10 million for the public sale. So we are starting the public sale on Monday. Awesome. Good luck for your public sale. Thank you very much. <laughs> would you add anything else that you would add? So if anybody wants to join our public sale, the public sale address is tokensale.liveedu.tv. Um, bonus starts on Monday, January 15th from 20% and it decreases every day. Awesome. That's so it. Contributors have to be fast. To yeah, get yeah exactly. That's the idea behind it. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. And wish, I'm wishing you <laughs> good you. luck for your project. Thank you. <laughs>